Hello again, welcome to another Star Wars review. Um, this time round we're going to be looking at another of the deluxe packs from the new Clone Wars 2009 line. Um, this one is for the Turbo Tank Support Squad. Show you the back of the packaging. I'll just read from the back of the packaging. Um, the Clone Troopers man the Republic enormous Turbo Tanks. Blasting battle droids with grenade launchers and laser cannons, bred and trained for combat, the clone troopers use the armoured assault vehicles to plough directly through obstacles and straight into the maelstrom of battle. Um, the pack comes with two figures and two of these laser cannons, missile firing laser cannons, which can be attached um, as per this image here to the sides of the turbo tank. Um, the uh, the pack itself it was quite pricey. I mean, it's £23, which is for two figures and two weapons is a little bit sort of on the upper bracket of what it should be. The pack converts into a deer armour, which shows the Felucia. Now, I'm going to be ably assisted in this review by someone obviously who needs no introduction whatsoever. So I will just reveal him. Hello, everyone. <laughs> That's, of course, Sith Lord 229, the, uh, the big cheese on the uh, Star Wars circuit. <laughs> And uh, he's going to help me review this these pack today. And uh, first of all, we'll look at the figures. Now, as Steve has said, if you look over on his channel, he's reviewed the deluxe pack with the Jet Troopers. There is um, some serious discrepancies with the colouring, which is a bit strange. Um, the colour of the plastic is it's not white, it's not grey, it's sort of somewhere between. Mm. Um, it's, it's like I pointed out in the Jet Trooper review, it's like they've been left out in the sun too long. Yes. It's like they've yellowed. Mm. It? I mean, for example, this is a Wave 1 clone, and this is a trooper. As you can see, there's a marked difference between the colour in a big way. It's like I've said in, in the past, you know, um, the colour of these troopers, I, I wouldn't mind it if it wasn't for the fact that every other clone that's been released is a completely different colour because once you've got a display going with some of these guys in it they stand out like a sore thumb mm. and they look really... it's disappointing isn't it to, yeah. to find that they've been cast in this really weird plastic it's very it's a very strange colour um, like I said they have um, a symbol on each shoulder this one depicts it looks like a turbo tank wheel within the uh, uh, Republic symbol within a turbo tank wheel and a chevron Bisecting a sort of uh, dark oval or circle. It's like I said with the turbo tank um, wheel symbol. It's almost like um, if you look at the ATT assault squad battle pack, they've got um, what appears to be the footprint of an ATT um, as their shoulder marking, while uh, obviously the turbo tank support squad has the Republic symbol in the turbo tank wheel. And it's interesting to note that you know the shoulder markings um, for each figure tend to resemble the uh, vehicle that they're part of the squad for. So that's quite an interesting uh, little yeah, detail. Yeah, definitely. Um, they come with a two sets of weapons. They come with the DC fifteen S carbine, which is the standard clone trooper pistol, and um, that's for some reason is cast in black. And then they also come with the DC fifteen rifle, but for some reason that's been cast in a really bright silver for some strange reason um, why they've cast two sets of weapons in two separate plastics is a bit beyond me considering it, the jet troopers are the jet troopers are blue yeah you've got but, one there. but they're, they're all blue yeah. yes, which is a bit strange you know where why cast the plastics in two separate colors I mean it's, it's again reverting back to the ATT assault squad the clones that come in that pack were initially released in the speed about recon pack and all the weapons that came in that pack were cast in. They weren't so much as bright silver as these weapons were, but they were. They weren't silver. They weren't black. They were sort of somewhere in between. Mm. But the case with that one was that both weapons were cast in that plastic, not one. Yeah. So it's yeah. It's, it's weird as to why they've done this. It's very strange. They also come with these cannon weapons, which are hinged like so. They are missile firing. You press a button, and they will fire. Hey, it looks like a torpedo. Mm. Um, also, they've designed to slot into the side of the uh, turbo tank, the flap that comes down the side, or you could, they have a leg that kicks out, which allows you to pose the figure with it on a tripod base. Um, Steve's got one set up to show you. And that's this guy here. That's how you can have him set up. 
this is good if you know if the uh, ATT at uh, the ATT the turbo tank is a little bit out of your price range you know because I mean the price they're asking for that vehicle is just ridiculous mm. so you know if, if you're not bothered about getting the ATT the, keep calling it the ATT the turbo tank if you're not going to get that then you know it's good that Hasbro have actually made it so that the uh, cannons stand up on their own yeah. otherwise they'd have been rendered pretty much useless wouldn't they yeah, yeah definitely if not, yes the missile does fine I'm not going to be a wimp <laughs> and that's just gone <laughs> but there you go that's the uh, turbo tank review um, it's turbo not a tank support squad support review squad let's not get ahead of ourselves <laughs> <laughs> the, sorry the turbo tank support squad review mm -hmm. um, not bad if you can find it um, at a cheaper price I mean I know Steve's found it at Debenhams haven't you for yeah. £15 which is like a, nearly a 10, 10 quid cheaper. price difference yeah between that and Forbidden Planet which we're asking £23 for this yeah. which is overkill to so say the least. Our, our advice is if you're looking for some of these packs then hunt, hunt around hunt around by all means you know definitely I definitely. mean we jumped at the chance to get these packs because um, it's the first time we'd seen them on the shelves so obviously mm. you don't want to pass them up when you first see them but obviously now that they're out there you know that they're out there have a look around before you go jumping into any purchase because you uh, Odds are, if you pick them up for anything over 20 quid, you're going to be ripped off. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, what we've done is we've done a little thing where Steve's bought the um, the Jet Troopers, I've bought the mm -hmm. Turbo Tank, and what we've done is we've swapped one figure of each, which yeah. means we've got a, an example of both of the Clone Troopers to put in our collection. So the, that's a good thing. If you've got a mate and you can't really afford two packs each, mm -hmm. one of you buy one pack, one of you buy the other, swap a figure. So you'll end up with a turbo tank, um, support squad clone and weapons, and a jet trooper from the two twelfth with weapons, and he'll end up with a turbo tank clone and weapons and a jet trooper with weapons. So definitely a must, especially in this this current climate where things are awfully expensive and money's so tight. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that review. Until next time, keep collecting and may the force be with you.